Sir Jim Ratcliffe facing legal battle and Big Shake Jassim boost. Sir Jim Ratcliffe is facing a potential legal battle as he looks to buy Manchester United. According to reports, the Ineos chief is widely considered as the frontrunner in the race to purchase the club. However, Sheikh Jassim remains in the mix, with the Qatari billionaire making five bids so far. According to Breaking Views, Ratcliffe's proposal of owning at least 51% of United has sparked concerns among some of the club's current investors. Its claimed hedge funds are laying the groundwork for a legal fight at the $3 billion soccer club's control Glazer family tries to shut them out of any sale. They add that one particular hedge fund, with a large stake in United, is making legal preparations in case Ratcliffe launches an offer that involves only buying the Glazer's super-voting Class B shares. The report adds such an approach would effectively exclude minority investors from the takeover, and it's also claimed that firms were already studying past precedents under Cayman Islands law, where United is incorporated. Ratcliffe reportedly may not have enough funds to undertake a rebuild of Old Trafford as well. The famous stadium is in big need of modernizing following years of Glazer's neglect. In order to pay for any improvements to the Grand Arena, Ratcliffe would then potentially pile more debt onto the club, and United's minority investors may be left with shares worth significantly less than before as a result. All in all, it's a messy situation, and that may explain why the Glazers have used PSG chief Nasser al khalifi to try and get Sheikh Jassim to up his offer for the club. While the Qatari billionaire has made five bids so far, the Glazers appear to still be holding out for more cash in order to pack their bags and leave for good. And that's irking many United fans, as well as manager Eric Ten Hag. Ten Hag is desperate for clarity as the summer transfer window nears, with the Dutchman eager to improve his squad. Harry Kane is a priority target, while United have made progress as they look to acquire Mason Mount from Chelsea. But with the takeover situation rumbling on, Ten Hag still doesn't know how much he'll have to spend this summer, and what ultimately happens remains to be seen, with no end to the saga currently in sight. Meanwhile, Simon Jordan recently slammed United fans amid a potential takeover, insisting Sheikh Jassim owning the club highlights their hypocrisy. Their hypocrisy and double standards are so steeped in a lack of self-awareness that it borders on the staggering. He wrote for the Daily Mail, United fans mocked their noisy neighbors when Middle Eastern money transformed Manchester City's fortunes, and they weaponized that newfound wealth to ridicule the substance of their rivals. They were sneering because they viewed United as an organically built club, and now, without a hint of embarrassment, they are desperate for Middle Eastern ownership because it suits them. Fans generally bemoan football culture being diminished and demolished by money, with players paid far too much and detached from reality. But at the same time, fans scream for the next owner they want, and it's invariably the one with the biggest checkbook. He added, I wonder if they realize how preposterous it is to be telling Sir Jim Ratcliffe how he's got to buy their club, and if he doesn't he can do one. Are they really that away with themselves that they think they can dictate to a billionaire how he buys something? It's one thing putting your views across, it's another thing being totally and utterly destructive and unrealistic. There is no need for vicious, vitriolic, hate-filled rant. In other news, Eric Ten Hag makes Mason Greenwood decision which has left Stryker delighted. A new twist in the Mason Greenwood saga has emerged with Eric Ten Hag reported to want the striker back in the squad. Mason Greenwood could have a Manchester United lifeline amid a new report claiming manager Eric Ten Hag wants him back with the first team squad. The forward is currently suspended by the club pending an internal investigation into his arrest last year. No charges remain active against Greenwood after the CPS discontinued proceedings earlier in 2023. Mason Greenwood Future A report in The Sun claims Eric Ten Hag wants to bring Mason Greenwood back into the first-team fold. It adds, however, that the final decision will be taken by the Glazers and Chief Executive Richard Arnold. The report adds, The Sun understands most of his teammates at Old Trafford would welcome him back into the dressing room if the club agrees. It quotes a source, claiming Greenwood is delighted at the developments and is keen to continue his career, one way or another. Greenwood, now 21, has not played since his arrest back in January 2022. Earlier this week, the Mail reported Manchester United are considering sending Greenwood out on loan next season. WTH leagues in Turkey, Italy, and Spain options. The Sun's report adds Juventus, AC Milan and Inter Milan have all had contact with United over Greenwood. But if the Red Devils boss gets his way, Greenwood could have a future at Old Trafford. He is under contract until 2025. Eric Ten Hag recently spoke about Greenwood's ability in a complimentary tone in an interview with The Times. When asked about the club's need for a scoring striker, he said that Greenwood has shown in the past that he is capable of doing that. 
United are concerned about reaction to bringing Greenwood back in and are continuing talks with various stakeholders, including club sponsors. Outspoken pundit Simon Jordan has said Greenwood deserves to continue his career, telling TalkSport, whether we like it or not, or whether people have presumed his guilt or innocence in equal measure, he has the right to go on with the rest of his life. He has the right to find some sort of redemption in whatever opportunities exist for him. He also warned football fans are unforgiving regarding the type of reaction Greenwood could receive from crowds. If you enjoyed the video make sure to smash the like button and make sure to subscribe to Man United Hub to get all the latest updates.